put some respect on that throttle. F F F H H O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O Yeah, okay. See, the the topic been around for a minute. <clears throat> Cell, Big Cell and Heavy touched on some things last night when um, on Cell's radio show. Got a radio show every Thursday on 96.1. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, 96.1 FHO Live or Big Cell Live. I, I don't know what it is, but... Between Cell and uh, Trey Taylor, that's my boy. Me and Cell, cool, man. We good. So he said something. He's entitled to his own opinion. What it do, T-Rob? What's happening? Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. You understand? But I, I, I beg to differ with a lot of things that are being said. We got this term that people are throwing around called biker or real biker or what a biker is what a biker isn't you know and who gave these people authority to distinguish or claim what a biker is or isn't you see what i'm saying a biker i i, I just looked it up is 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 somebody with a passion for a bike now for some people especially in this harley lifestyle harley thing it's a lifestyle, but that does that make it not? Does that make somebody who doesn't share it or view it as a lifestyle? Does that make them not a biker? You know what is a biker? You got to ride across state lines to be considered a biker? Bullshit, bull fucking shit. And the thing, the problem I have is, I was a lover. I fell in love with bikes way before. People tried to put this um, label on what a biker is or isn't. What's up, Heavy? I see you. None. What's up, none? <clears throat> you know, y'all can't put these labels. And the thing is, you know what? I take that back. People are free to put whatever label on anything they want to put. But y'all dumbass motherfuckers be accepting that shit. And some of y'all dumbass motherfuckers allow that shit to fuck with your ego or fuck with your mental psyche or question who you are or what you do, how you do it, when you do it. You see what I'm saying? Nobody should have that power. Y'all need to stop giving people this power and all, this assumed power and authority over you, right? If you in a bike club and that's what y'all want to do, that's what y'all do. It's a fucking, it's, 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 a, it's a sign, you signed up for it. You see what I'm saying? You know, uh, what's up, Diamond? I see you. You know, but people, y'all need to stop accepting these labels that somebody decided to, to put on. Look, you got Smiley out west. Smiley is probably the best ground pounder to ever do it. You understand what I'm saying? But when Smiley don't feel like doing it, he don't do it. He ain't done it. And can nothing y'all say make him do it? You see what I'm saying? So, because Smiley stopped riding, is he not a biker? Should he just take off his biker patch? Snowman. You got pe a lot of people don't know. Heavy. Heavy Heavy was one of the first people I ever met to go cross, you know, coast to coast. You know? Uh, that's that water. That's that water, Diamond. I'm drinking water and drinking my vegetables. You know what I'm saying? Drinking vegetables and water. You know? Snowman ain't been on the bike in a year. But we don't judge Snowman. Why? Because he put the work in. But he ain't doing it no more because life took over. You see what I'm saying? This biker thing, we're going to take, we're going to use the brother Hustler for you. You're going to tell me Hustler not a biker? Just because Hustler don't go cross state lines don't mean shit. It don't mean nothing. That man loves what he does. There's genres. There's, 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 there's genres or there's degrees of biker. Just like there's degrees of, there you go. I agree, T-Rob, biker versus ground pounder. But guess what? You can be one without being the other. You see what I'm saying? But 
people got shit to do. Everybody can't be put in the same category. That's like saying I'm not black. Why? Because I might know how to, uh, I'm not a black man and I talk white because I might know how to, uh, eloquate and use big words. And some of you guys got this shit fucked up. Y'all really do. You know, y'all really do. Y'all got to stop putting labels on people just because what they do don't fit into your personal idea. But you know what? I'm not going to say that. Y'all free to put whatever labels you want. You got people that they love to bike, but they have no desire to go across state lines. They like to race. You see what I'm saying? They have no desire to go across state lines, but they rip and run these streets. They always on the bike. They like fucking with music. They might want to put a big wheel on the bike. You understand? I know we got jokes, y'all. You know, we clown, oh, 32, he ain't riding that. No, he ain't got to. Does that mean he he loves biking or his particular genre of the bike um, diaspora that he chooses to like any less or any more than we do because we like doing something else? No, it don't. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> I'm abolishing all these biker stereo to heavy. Heavy ain't been on a bike and I don't know long. So does, when I see Heavy, he ain't a biker. You know what I'm saying? That nigga will forever be a biker. You know? That nigga will be forever a biker. Diamond. Diamond ride her shit when she get ready. Everybody want to ask Diamond. That's Ramona Davis for those of y'all that don't know. Why the fuck you got two and three bikes? How you gonna ride two and three bikes? Why you put all that stuff on your bike? Uh, you don't, <clears throat> you be working all the time. You you don't even get to ride them like that. Who, who the fuck cares? It's hers. She can do what the fuck she want to do with it. Feel what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? When I was on my sport bike in Florida, we used to be driving up to the DC. Yeah, we used to trailer them to the DC bike fest and in 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 DC up to the Greek in Philly and we rip it we lived and breathed these motherfuckers Bobby Star time I heard how y'all number one stunners used to do terrorizing the city you know what I'm saying rough riders when I first moved to Atlanta in 05 you know what I'm saying these sport bikes were fucking hey we had started a little bit a lot earlier than y'all in Miami but you know when I moved up here man these bikes was everywhere but I don't think that many people was going cross state lines so those guys weren't bikers so according to what Trey Davis Trey Taylor and Seller saying 95% of y'all in these clubs need to rip that MC shit off you need to take the little part that say MC and rip it off cuz y'all ain't bikers if what he's saying is true y'all ain't bikers you know what I'm saying? Some people like to race bikes. Some people like to put music on their bikes. Some people's like some people like to make show bikes. Some people like to pound the ground. You see what I'm saying? But do not allow anybody's idea of or anybody's uh, opinion of what a real biker is and real biker isn't. OMCs, outlaws, one percenters, whatever you choose to call them. That's a whole nother thing. You see what I'm saying? They married to the life. Didn't nobody make them become one percenters or outlaws or, or, or diamond. Didn't nobody make them do that. You see what I'm saying? That's something they chose to do. So that's a whole nother topic, you know, and all, and, and not all of them have the time they have a passion for it, but they can't do what everybody thinks they do 24 7. You see what I'm saying? I see you, Tracy. You damn right, Nitty. It's riding. But stop judging people based just because they don't do what your perception is or what you think their perception of a pastime, a hobby, a lifestyle should be. Y'all don't. You know, you don't get to define that. Y'all don't get to, to make that that generalization. You see, um, I, I, I just been hearing it a lot, man, and I, I'm, I'm really tired of it. You know, before, if, if you want to call it real, before, let's see, this is 2017. You know, before Flacco, it was Flacco. Before that, you had Snow, that we know of. I'm, there's other people been doing it. You know, Smiley, you know. Somebody made a joke the other day, like, what happened to ground pounding? Where'd it go? You know, ain't nobody, ain't nobody, uh, what, the fad wore off? You know what I'm saying? What, what happened to it? People do what they got time to do. PT, what's cracking, man?
What's cracking? I see you. PT, we'll take PT. You know, PT, I, I ain't putting nobody on blast. PT loves motorcycles. PT's DNA is in racing motorcycles. You see what I'm saying? He's on a Harley now. But you can't tell PT or people like PT that they not a biker just because they don't choose to do what you choose to do the way you choose to do it. We don't get to make those distinctions. You see what I'm saying? So, but you say what kills me is why is there so much judgments on how many miles you get or how many state lines you cross? Because You know why, Christopher Geiger? Because it's a fucking fad. It's the thing to do right now. How long is it going to last? I don't know. You got people, myself included, I wanted to do it. I wanted to see what all the hype was about. You know, I wanted to do it. Did I love doing it? Yup. Am I going to do it again? Yup. But do I snub my nose at somebody else that don't want to? You know? What'd you say? Uh, my job is... We all got jobs. You see what I'm saying? Now, we all break the rules. You know, we all are on them bikes when we know we probably should be doing something else. You know? You damn right, Berto. That's right. If you ride dirt bikes, you still a, you can't tell them 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 uh, bike life little them little bike life youngins. You can't tell them they not bikers. They not. You can't tell them they not bikers. Man, listen. There's genres and degrees of things. So maybe somebody might not be to the degree of quote unquote biker that you are, but. If we going to keep it square all across the board, half y'all need to rip that little MC patch off. Because if it wasn't for the mandatories that some of these clubs have, a lot of y'all wouldn't be on the ground. If things weren't made mandatory, a lot of y'all wouldn't be on the ground. We need to stop getting the shit twisted. Damn, what's that in my eye? Yeah. We need to stop getting the shit twisted, man, and, and, and call it, you know, we need to call it, call, call these facts. Everybody can't be a ground pounder. Some people have no desire to be a ground pounder, but they love the bikes. Some people ground pound when they can. You get what I'm saying? But stop this shit, man. Y'all y'all need to stop putting these labels or telling people what they are. No, I'm, I'm going to rephrase that again. Y'all are free to tell people what they are, what they might not measure up to and all that. Y'all free to do that. But some of y'all are taking this shit to heart, letting people define you. Ain't nobody give, they ain't got no authority over you. None. So do your thing your way. If you in a club and that club got criteria and that club has, uh, that club has, what's it, criteria, what's the other word I'm looking for? They got things you got to do. That's what you signed on for. So you do it. If not, you pay the consequences. You see what I'm saying? You pay the consequences. But that's something that you decide to do. This shit is a, it's a volunteer outfit. But biker and what a biker is, you know what I'm saying? You couldn't tell me in the early 90s, mid 90s, late 90s. Robert Gale, you know. You know, you know how I used to get down. You know how I used to get down. You know, so you couldn't tell me I wasn't no biker. Why? Because I didn't ride my sport bike across state lines? No. Y'all don't get to decide that and make that distinction. What'd you say, T-Rob? We were in their shoes on street bikes, 285. So you goddamn right. Then we grew up and jobs got better. We can afford to do it now, but look where it started. And that's the other thing I don't get, man. That's the other thing I don't get. You got all these cats that bought a Harley, right? And it's like, y'all forgot where you came from. Y'all snub your noses at every other thing on two wheels. You snub your noses, you turn your nose up, and you act like you weren't riding them shits about three, four years ago, five, six years ago. You know, me and Biggie, Jarrell, we, you know, everybody think Biggie hate Harleys. He gonna get one one of these days. You know, it's not that he hate Harleys. You know, Bobby Star Time, he on a Harley now. Biggie, we waiting on you to get that hog, man. But... Y'all be looking down your noses at people just because they choose to do something different than what you choose to do. Or their viewpoint and, uh, you know, their perspective is different. Y'all got to stop that shit, man. Cut it out. 
Do you do what you want to do. Do what makes you happy. You ain't got to judge the next man. You feel what I'm saying? You damn right, Hev. We need to get on them things, man. The side-by-side -side collecting dust. I got to crank it up. You know, do what you like to do. You know, do your thing. Don't worry about what the next man. Don't be so quick to throw out a label. You feel me? Don't be so quick. Hey, uh, <laughs> all my victory lovers out there. Hey, Sheldon Caldwell on your little ugly ass Honda. You know, I go hard on y'all, man, but it's all love. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't judge y'all, man. If you want to ride that ugly ass victory, that's up to you. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't give a shit. But that's about it. Big Hurt, what's happening, man? Big Hurt, these just don't know where we came from with this riding shit, man. You know, a lot of them just bought that hog. Now they the fucking authority on, and I'm not taking a shot at anybody. I'm just saying a lot of people did, really did just buy the fucking hog a few years ago. Now they're an authority on all things biker or two wheels. You know, Big Hurt to tell you, we was terrorists on them things. Those was the days, but we grew up. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that you grow up and you don't want to still ride your shit, but hey, you damn right, Smoke. Money dictates what you can and cannot do. Money dictates that. So if one man got more bread than the other, don't belittle the next man because he does it a little bit differently. I'm not saying you do, bro. I'm just saying you got a lot of people that, you know, you know, snow. We're going to put snow on blast. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, I ain't seen snow on the ground. Why? Because real life took over. Real life took over. That man got responsibilities. You see what I'm saying? That man got that man got shit to do right now. He got married. You see what I'm saying? So other things take priority. You know? So until then, I'ma holler at y'all. You know, keep doing your thing. Ride your bike, ride your ride when you feel like it. If you in a club, you signed up for that shit. You gotta abide by the rules of the club. You see what I'm I'm saying that's purely that's a whole different story so that's between you and your club what you doing well you don't really have too much your, your choices kind of yeah when you signed up for that you kind of got to live by that you know Donnie Clark I see all none um I'm gonna holler at y'all man I'm out Ragley, lavish, what up? I know my signal probably tripping again, ain't it? I said, I said I got both of y'all watching, but I only got one person on the eye, so. Well, I'll tell you. I don't know what this 4G wireless is supposed to be doing. What it is, what it is, what it is. Okay. Um, this weekend was my birthday, um, and I did what I love to do on my birthday, which is ride my motorcycle. We rode out to Huntsville, Alabama, man, to hang out with them, um, rare breeds. Matter of fact, let me do it like this so I can see. Uh, hold on one second. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I know, I figured that. Good morning, what up with it, Raglan? What up, JoJo? For some reason, like I said, all of my lives and everything else I do now is just raggedy as shit, so I don't know what else to tell you, but 
We're going to try to get it done. I'm supposed to be in the best part of the house right now for a signal. Anyway. Is it still showing me live? Everybody blurry? We got people going on and off? Okay. Um... I was trying, it's not even letting me find it on my own page. This, uh, like I said, this weekend, I decided to uh, ride my motorcycle. And while uh, this weekend, Savage did a, a video post in HDTMZ. Oh, that's why I can't find it, because I'm in HDTMZ. Hold on. It's in HDTMZ. Uh, Savage did a, it's clear now, okay, Savage did a radio post this weekend while I was gone about what a biker is or what a biker isn't, okay, so I know it's breaking up, but you see I got all this gear on because it's cold out here, but I wanted to make sure I came all the way outside so that you guys could, uh, so that you guys could, to, could get this. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is Y'all need to start listening to what people be saying and what they're saying. Okay. Me and my man Savage is cool. Me and Michael Corleone, we're cool. We have different views and different opinions, and that's what makes all of us individuals on a whole. Okay. Um, but what I want to say is this. What Savage was talking about that I talk about is totally two different things. Okay. Number one is this. I never said anything about how to be a biker. I don't know how to be a biker. You feel what I'm saying? I would imagine that being a biker is simply owning a bike and riding your motorcycle and probably embracing or, or loving the two-wheel lifestyle or the biker lifestyle from dirt biking to, uh, to you know, to whatever it is. Okay? So that, that, that's number one. Let's get that clear. Okay? My show... Which again, Savage, is on 106 Live Radio, not 96 point, all the other shit you said about the station. If you don't know the station, then just as a friend, as a friend, you do a public disservice when you don't know something and you try to speak on it. So if you don't know the station, then you should have never said any station. You should have just said, hey, Big Cell got a live radio show the whole nine yards. And again, this ain't me being mad. This ain't me ranting. This ain't me you know, coming after Michael Corleone, this is just me simply clarifying and clearing up what was said because a lot of you guys are on there or, or, or listening or, or on his post or whatever. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. And all he did was made you feel good about not owning up to your responsibility about being or riding your motorcycle. That's all he did. All Savage did was make you feel good about not riding your motor, not having to ride your motorcycle. That's it. That's all. He didn't do nothing spectacular. He didn't say nothing spectacular. He said the same thing that me, Don, Heavy, and I'm, and maybe my man Trey Taylor said, but he just said it in his own way. And y'all ate it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, Savage. Go, Savage. Go. Let me tell you something, man. Being a biker is whatever definition you want to give it. That that definition about being a biker is so broad. It's it's so it's so wide. But now being an MC. That's where I got you at. That's where I got you at. That's what I teach on and that's what I preach on. You feel what I'm saying? About the MC, the motorcycle lifestyle, the motorcycle community, the motorcycle culture, however you want to describe it. Those are the things that me, Big John, Black Sabbath, I mean Black Dragon, um, Heavy, which is now my new co-host, Trey Taylor, I'm imagining, and whoever else speak on. Those are the things that we speak on. We can't speak on being a biker. You feel what I'm saying? Anybody, anybody and everybody knows that if you have your bike, you ride it when you want to ride it. You ride it how you want. It's your bike. It's your thing to do. Can't nobody tell you how to ride your bike. And number one is this. Big Cell has never told you what you can and cannot do. I just give you the parameters of it all, and I tell you the rules. Now, if the rules say you can't do it, then you can't do it. But if you do it, then you're grown enough to do whatever the fuck you want. Just like every day y'all break the law with speeding. Running red lights, making left turns when you ain't supposed to make a left turn. Y'all do that shit every day. But those are the rules. The rules say you ain't supposed to do it, but you do it every day. So who am I to say, hey, 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 I'm going to give you a ticket. I am not the motorcycle police. No, sir, not by far. 
My man Heavy, my co-host, is not the motorcycle police. We don't give a fuck what you do it and how you do it. But now I'm going to tell you why I do give a fuck at. What I do care about is when you sitting around popping your mouth and running your mouth about riding your motorcycle and I'm one of, you know, this and this and that, and you're in the presence of somebody great, like what he just said, like the people he mentioned, Snowman, Flacco, Smiley, Mr. Nate, me, you feel what I'm saying, Heavy, or whoever else. When the people that ride know what they've sacrificed to ride, know what it took for them to make them rise, hear you talk about riding and you ain't going nowhere but around 285 or maybe the South Carolina or maybe the Alabama, yeah, they got a problem with that. That would be the same thing, that, that's the same thing, at what you on your what you on your job or what you on whatever you love, okay? I'm in a, from Mason, from being a Mason to being in whatever organization. When you sitting around and you don't you know what it took for you to be to be a part of that organization, and you hear somebody else popping about being a part of it that you know ain't put in or gave or did nowhere near what you did to be a part of it. Yes, you will say something. It will get you a little angry and maybe a little bit upset. Or whatever you could you could say all the shit you want to say about oh I don't give a fuck I don't give a fuck okay let somebody talk about doing your job or let I'm gonna give you better yet than that you and a coworker got a job to do and your coworker don't do nan part of his part but just the job gets still got to get done so you do the whole entire job but then your coworker get the he get the praise and the adoration for doing that job yeah you gonna say something. You damn sure gonna say something. You're gonna be mad about it. You're gonna be upset. You're gonna be on some other shit. So there's a difference. Anybody can be a biker, but not everybody should be in the MC. Let me say it again. Anybody can be a biker, but not everybody can be in the MC. There's different levels to biking. There's totally different levels to biking. Let me see something. I, I wanna make sure I'm still on live. There's totally different levels of biking, okay? Um, what up, sis? What up, star? So, when you talk about being a biker or you talk about being an MC, um, there's two different things. Totally, totally two different things, okay? So, my, my, my whole entire goal today was to come on here and just say, hey, Mr. Michael Corleone, my man Savage, we good. But when you when you when you say, as my friend, as my friend, when you say, "Hey, Cell got a radio station," I think is nine whatever it is. If you don't know, then don't even mention it, because that's like me saying, "Hey, man, um, hey, go see my man over there at his uh at his uh at his restaurant on uh on, I think it's off of Camp Creek or, or or Butler Road over there, and and I think it's called um you know Ox Jerk." Ox jerk Jamaica uh, or it's, it's ox jerk something like that. You understand what I'm saying? Something like that. I think that's a, that I, that would be the same thing. That would be your establishment, just like you just discredited my radio station or my radio show. You feel what I'm saying? We got to get better than that, come Padre, come camaraderie. Chuck, what it do? So again, man, Cell can never tell anybody about being a biker. Okay. There's different levels to biker. Maybe you need to ask a biker, how does he feel about other bikers? Okay. But when it comes to this motorcycle shit, being in a motorcycle club, the motorcycle community, I think I can speak on that. I think I've earned enough to speak on it. Now, and again, I am not the Messiah. I am not the Bible. I am not the one to tell you what you have to, can, what you have to do or, or don't have to do or can and cannot do. I am not that person. I'm just going to give you the set-aside rules, the set-aside regulations, and I'm going to give you first-hand experiences from me and all of my friends, period. That's it. That's all I'm going to give you. Whatever you do with it is on you. So don't try to, don't try to come back at the messenger, you feel what I'm saying, or don't, don't, don't try to come back at me for saying, oh, sales said we got to do this, or what makes sales say this and this and that. What makes me say it is experience. You see this pretty motherfucker right here? You see that pretty motherfucker right there? That's a 2015, Okay. And this is me, now I'm popping shit. Now I'm talking shit. This pretty motherfucker right here two, ain't even two years old yet. Not yet. It's almost, but it ain't even two years old yet. And this motherfucker got more miles probably on, on this bike. I got more miles on this bike than most of you motherfuckers got on an eight-year-old bike, six-year-old bike, a seven-year-old bike. Okay? Now that was me popping shit. Okay? But all I'm saying is this, is that 
when it comes to the motorcycle community, the motorcycle culture, the motorcycle lifestyle, some people play in it. Some people touch on it. Some people, you know, some people benefit off of it. Some people give, some people take. But some people live this shit, okay? And all I'm telling you, okay, there you go right there. There go my man, Michael Corleone. And all I'm telling you is that everything you do from being a biker to being in a, to being in a club has levels, has levels to it. So, again, all I'm saying is this. This is my response to Michael Corleone's video. I never told anybody about how to be a biker. Remember, there's two different things on being a biker and being in a motorcycle club. There's two different things. Okay, being a biker has so, what up with the cheeks? Being a biker has so many different levels. Being in a motorcycle club, it has its levels as well. But being a biker, I can never tell you how to be a biker. But now this motorcycle shit, being in a motorcycle uh, club, being in a motorcycle community, the whole nine yards, and yes, I've been in enough clubs to know the difference. Trust and believe that. You feel what I'm saying? So that, that's my whole thing is what I'm saying is this. But again, Mr. Michael Corleone, like I'm saying, you do a disservice to me as an individual, as your friend, when you don't know my radio station, when you don't know, you know, my business, and but you try to speak on it. Like I said, it would be like me doing a disservice to you in your restaurant to say, hey, man, go see uh, my man, uh, Michael Corleone. I think he over there on uh, Lexington Road or Lester Road. or No, I think he's off of Ch but But don't we just look it up. I think the name of it is uh, 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 Oxtail and Jerk Chicken uh, uh, Eatery or, or, um, or uh, no, no, no. I think it's uh, uh, Crud Cutter uh, uh, Castro Barbecue, uh, uh, Jer Jamaican Barbecue. That ain't what we do, partner, as friends. You feel what I'm saying? That ain't what we do as friends. As friends, I'm going to know your business just like you're going to know my business. And especially before I go on social media and put it out there. Now, when I talked to you earlier, you said there maybe was a cross-reference between what me and Heavy talked about and what you and Trey Taylor talked about. And that's fine, but you need to distinguish that. My radio show, my whole entire movement is about the lifestyle of a person. First off, Harley Davidson. It's about the Harley Davidson enthusiast lifestyle, number one. And it's about the lifestyle of those who are in a motorcycle club, trying to join a motorcycle club, or just curious about a motorcycle club. So that's the only thing I can speak of. Being a biker, anybody can speak on that. There's so many people that got different variations of what a biker is. I don't know what a biker is. I know how I get down with me and my bike. With me and Blue, I know how we get down. You feel what I'm saying? That's, that's all I can tell you. I know how we get down. But as far as, as far as being a biker, that's something I don't know. But now being in this MC shit, I can speak on it. You can speak on it. You'd have been in and out of an MC. Heavy D can speak on it. He'd have been in and out of MCs. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what this is, and that's what this is about. So when you when you get on here and all of these people feel good, because all you did was give them an excuse on making them feel better about not riding their motorcycle. That's all you did. That's all you did was went on there and pumped everybody up. Yeah, we don't have to do what sales say do. We don't have to ride our motorcycle. We don't have to do this. We don't have to do this. <laughs> Is people bike for different reasons. Some raise some pound, some stuff. Either one has a present. And, and I totally agree. Okay? And I totally agree. But when he said that I said that there's a difference, that's why I disagree. And I got my man Don King Gadget Wiley on here. Let me tell you something, homie. In this life, you get one. Yours. You do your life however in the fuck you want to do it. I don't care what big sales say. I don't say what Michael Corleone say. Nigga, we don't even give a fuck about what Donald Trump say. You feel what I'm saying? You have to live your life based on however in the fuck you decide to live it and however the fuck you choose to live it. It's your life. You feel what I'm saying? If I influence you to ride harder or longer to get, to get yonder, then so be it. If I influence you not to ride your motorcycle, then so be it. That has no dictation over what I feel or what I don't feel. Because, again, at the end of the day, I'm going to love you regardless. All I'm saying is just don't talk about getting yonder around me and you don't get yonder. That's all I'm saying. You already know when I come around, do not mention getting yonder if, if you don't get yonder. That is a conversation only for niggas that get yonder. Only for the individuals that get yonder. Now, racing, I can't talk about racing. I know a little bit about racing. I know the rules and the parameters. That's why I put on one of the biggest races every year. You feel what I'm saying? July 15th, it's time for me to drop my plug now. July 15th, Commerce, Georgia. You feel what I'm saying? At Atlanta Dragway, I promise you this will be the biggest Harley-Davidson event that Atlanta has ever seen. I promise you. 
I have the best of the best, period. You gone, D-Ray? Uh, okay, well, I appreciate you, big homie, being on here. That's my man, D-Ray, president of uh, Second and None, Tulsa, Oklahoma. You see how I know my friend business? That's how you put him out there. My man, D-Ray, president, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Second and None chapter. You feel what I'm saying? Chuck, we said, what is understood don't need to be said. Cats know what you're doing and saying they also know what they are doing. Hey, it is what it is. I just had to say that. The turtle racing out there, I'm cold with it. <laughs> I'm cold with it. My man, Lavish. Uh, what's you, bro? What you mean, what's you? Oh, what it do is I'll get you a chance. But anyway, so to all of the people that my man, Michael Colion, made feel good, I hope you feel good. You feel what I'm saying? And I hope you enjoy your motorcycle if you do ride or if you don't ride it because it's your choice. Sell, don't pay nan bill. I ain't finna put nan, a gallon of gas in that bitch. I ain't finna buy not one quarter oil for you or put replace a screw on that bitch or nothing. So it's your motorcycle to do what you want to do. But what I will speak on and what I will continue to teach on is what I believe God gave me to teach on. And that's about being in this motorcycle lifestyle, being in this motorcycle culture, being in this motorcycle society. You feel what I'm saying? What up, Jay? Top of the morning to you. Uh, no, I will not make Daytona. Um, I'm saving my money for the West Coast. I, I told you I prefer the West Coast over the over the uh, over down south. That's just my personal preference. But to all of those who go on to, uh, but all of those who go on to Daytona, man, ride safe, be safe, always be safe. Wherever you ride to, I don't give a fuck if you're going to the store. Ride safe and be safe, and know that the cars don't care nothing about you. I got the president, my man Robert Ramsey, the president of Huntsville, Alabama rare breed chapter in the building you see i can say like my girl cheeks president diamond clusters atlanta chapter my man chuck uh um uh, dallas chapter second to none see that's what i'm saying that's how you properly when you when you mention somebody when you mention somebody that's what you do you mention them correctly i don't mention oh that's my man chuck i think he um he with uh i think he out of new orleans uh new orleans uh block south Get down, riders. No, that ain't what you do, man. When you when you when you when you mention somebody in a video, Savage, Michael Corleone, get it right. At least do the research before you put them out there like that, because you got everybody now looking for whatever it is. Ninety six. What? Hey, my man, Ken Folk Robinson, owner of Biker for Life Apparel. You know what I'm saying? The Biker for Life movement out of Houston, Texas. You know what I'm saying? That's how you do it, man. You feel what I'm saying? My man, King Papa Doc. You feel what I'm saying? Out of the North Carolina Kings, you feel what I'm saying? Doing what they do. That's like, when, when, you, when you mention somebody, Michael Corleone, that's what you do. You give them their proper respects when you mention their name. Give it, give it all to them, or don't mention their name at all. You know, especially their business. If you don't know their business, then you don't mention that. But this is my rebuttal, man. I just want to say this. I don't speak about. I can't tell nobody how to be a biker. And if Michael Corleone told you that I did tell you how to be a biker, you, I don't even have a radio show. There it is. There, heavy say I don't even have a radio show. So, <laughs> according to that, I don't even have a radio show. Uh, <laughs> but what I'm saying is this, man. Cell can never tell no one. And even and understand this. I'm going to say this again. I am not the motorcycle Jesus. If you're looking for somebody to praise, it's not me. But I promise you this. If you ever decide to ride your motorcycle and get some yonder, you can call me. And I can tell you everything you need to do it. Everything besides heart. What up, Donnie? You know what I'm saying? Everything you need to, again, that's my man Donnie Clark out of uh, Dallas, Texas. You feel what I'm saying? My man Xavier Washington, pound for pound, Memphis, Tennessee. You feel what I'm saying? My man Deshae Hickson, you know what I'm saying? House of D&D &D Customs. You feel what I'm saying? Jonesboro, Georgia. I mean, you know what I'm saying? This, this is what you do, man. You feel what I'm saying? So, again, all I'm saying is this, is that, Whatever level, there are levels to being a biker. There are levels to being an MC. All I'm saying is this. Don't join an MC if you don't have the time, the effort, or the energy. Because you do a, do, you do a discredit to not only just your MC, but you do a discredit to the whole entire nation. Period. Period. If you are going to join an MC, like I said, one thing I will say is this. There's a difference. People that love to ride... They join the MC. People that like to ride, they just stay bikers. I'm, oh, can I put it like that? Can I put it like that? People that like to ride? No, because bikers have a passion too. So I, I don't know if I can say that. But when it comes to this motorcycle club shit, don't join a motorcycle club if you don't love to ride. 
Sell for once, you're right. <laughs> I can admit I was wrong. I honestly feel bad about it when I listened to it. My tone and everything was wrong. I really did sound like I was chumping you. No, no, it's not even about chumping y'all because we don't do that. One thing about it is this, Michael. That's why I called you first before I did this video because I wanted you on there. And it's not about chumping it off, but you got so many people that would take what you say. They would take what you say and try to make something between me and you or try to make something more than what it is. That's why even if you notice when you first did the video, I simply left a comment on there that said, okay, I'll check this out later. Well, this morning I had a chance to do it after I got through getting, you know, my little ride on this weekend. And I listened to it, and this is just my response. And that's why I called you first to say, hey, I'm getting ready to go on your page and respond. And I appreciate you. I love you. Me and you are on a different page now. We have a way clearer understanding. So anybody on here, understand this. When it comes to me and Michael Corleone, you can never get us to go at each other. Never. Because he's going to call me, I'm going to call him. And as gentlemen, we're going to work it out. He understands that I have my own opinion and my views. I understand that he has his. Just like I understand that each and every one of you guys got your own opinion and your own views about this motorcycle thing. You feel what I'm saying? You got your own views about what Ground Pounder is, what, he, what Getting Yonder is. And I respect that. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm going to tell you like this. Don't come talk about getting yonder around me and you ain't getting yonder. Don't come talk about you're a ground pounder around me and you're not getting ground and you're not a ground pounder. You feel what I'm saying? Again, I only talk about crossing state lines. I don't know nothing about the local bike set. I don't know nothing about the bike nights. I don't know nothing about all that shit. All I know is about crossing state lines. I can tell you how to how to do it, how to get there, how to be safe, and how to have a damn time. And I can tell you this. If you is not getting yonder, then you have not had a good time on your motorcycle. The best time and the best fun in the world is made getting yonder. It's just a simple truth. Tear point blank. Dirty D, what up with it? If you don't have time to be in a club, don't be in one. I'm, but I'm, that's what I'm saying. So that's all I try to preach on is this. Everybody in our new, this month we've been on keeping it 100 with the MC. Are you keeping it 100 with your MC? What I'm saying is this, gentlemen and ladies, my man Willie Wimp, what's going on? How many times a year you need to get yonder to be considered a ground pounder? That's up to you. That's up to you. I All I'm saying is a ground pounder to me now. This is my definition of a ground pounder, okay? My definition of a ground pounder is somebody who prefers their motorcycle over their car every day. When you go out to the garage to go anywhere, to the store, to your mama house, to, to to whatever. You look at your car and you look at your motorcycle. And you say, I'm I'm gonna get I'm gonna ride my motorcycle. You feel what I'm saying? Ground pounding to me is um somebody that's out there, they constantly on their motorcycle. They constantly um, you know, they going places, they doing things. Now getting yonder, I got that simplified. Getting yonder, in order to say you got yonder, it's 800 miles or better in going one way, not 800 round trip. If you go on a trip and it's 950 miles to get there, 950 miles to get home, yeah, you just went yonder. If it's 803, if you just went 803 miles to get there, and then 803 miles to got back, yeah, you got some yonder. You know what I'm saying? That, that That's some yonder. Because I promise you this, you can't do 800 t two times in one day. Not nah, nobody you know is that bad. Not Smiley. Not Flacco, not me, not Snowman. So that's getting yonder. Yonder is 800 miles or better going in one direction. A ground pounder is somebody who's always on their bike getting places. Out of, you got to cross some state lines. You can't just be the person that every bike night. Oh, So, Sal, I'm on my bike every night. I'm at every bike night. I'm around 25 at least three times a week. I'm a ground pounder. No, sir, you're a ground thumper. You're a ground tapper. That's, that's what you do to tap the ground. You, you don't pound. You, you tap. And you know what you is? You, you know what I'm saying? You 50 pumps on a female. You know, 50 pumps, and that's all she got. Because after that, on that 51st, he, 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 you done nothing and went to sleep. That's what you is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's exactly what you is, man. You're a 50 pump. You, you, on the, when it comes to that pussy, you, you got 50 pumps and you gone. And you ask any lady about, you know what I'm saying? They do not want no 50 pumps, man. I'm just saying. 50 pumps just ain't going to get it, big homie. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what you is. You feel what I'm saying? I'm just saying. I'm just keeping it 100, man. You feel what I'm saying? So a ground pounder, to me, in my definition, is anybody who, who and when you go to your garage and you got a choice between your car and your motorcycle, you're going to take your motorcycle every time. 
period. That's a ground pounder. That's just my definition. It don't, it don't matter how, it don't matter how far you ride, I would guess on a daily, because you, even if you ride to work every day, Georgia boy, what it do? You know what I'm saying? If you ride to work every day or you ride to the store, you ride here, ride here. I mean, he always on his motorcycle. He a ground pounder. You feel what I'm saying? And, and, and he could be, and there's a such thing as a local ground pounder. And I with you, Gary, that's what I said in the beginning. Whatever you do, whatever you do, do it because that's what you love to do. That's how you want to do it. You only get one. For sure, we only get one thing in this life, and that's life. That's what we for sure get. We only get one of, and that's life. I'm just saying. So, again, if you're a 50 pump specialist, even, and most of you niggas can't even make it to 50 pumps. You know what I'm saying? On some good shit. It's been a couple of times, you feel what I'm saying, where, you know what I'm saying, I done been, you know, I done been up in Queen, man, and I didn't even make it to 50 pumps. You feel what I'm saying? If you make it to 52 pumps, you're all right with me, uh, 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 Chisholm. I guess she enjoyed it. You were you wasn't a fifty pump chump. You feel what I'm saying? But that's what that's what a lot of you ground tappers is, man. Y'all like a person that, that with fifty pumps or less, man. You feel what I'm saying? You in that pussy, man, and it's so good. You thirteen, fourteen, sixteen pumps, and she that's not, that was the best. You ever, heavy said you got twenty two good slow pumps. It still ain't enough heavy, fast or slow. I suggest you speed it up and turn that twenty two into forty four. At least she might she might lose count. <laughs> <laughs> if you go a little faster, she might lose count. Was she mad? I don't give a fuck if she's mad or not. I got mine. You feel what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck if she was mad or not, kid folk. Mad or not, kid folk, I got mine. Because sometimes it's all about me. You feel what I'm saying? Sometimes it's all about me. And it's the same thing I'm telling you with your motorcycle. If it's all about you, it's all about you. Fuck what sales say. Fuck what Corleone say. Fuck what anybody say, man. It's all about you. That particular time. I was up in that motherfucker, that shit, I was just on something different mentally, and that shit, hey, I'm saying she got a cool 32 or something, I don't know, 31, 32 or something, you feel what I'm saying, but I rolled over, went right to sleep on ass, and felt good as a motherfucker, you feel what I'm saying, because it was all about me, man, so man, shout out to my man, Michael Corleone, I love the way you teach, I love your style, I love your energy, I love your passion, and shout out to everybody that's on here, but understand this, man, between my man, um, with Teach MC with me and my man uh, John Bunch, with FHO Radio with me and my man Heavy D, all we're trying to do is is incite the the conversation. All we're trying to do is get rid of the elephant in the room. Um, you, you feel what I'm saying? That we can at least have dialogue and conversation about what it is that we're talking about. My man Billy Catlin says, Seal, you and Savage are both right, but the only reason to join an MC is for brotherhood. Without brotherhood, nothing else in an MC matters. And I mean this whole with this with love. Fellas really need to get off the the um fellas need to really get off the individual accomplishments and get on the team concept. There are all types of roles you can play in your club or whatever your role is, be the best at it for your club. And I hear you, Billy, but understand this, how are we gonna have brotherhood if they're not riding their motorcycle? Brotherhood is made on the road. Brotherhood ain't made sitting at the clubhouse. Brotherhood ain't made going from bike night to bike night. If you really want to know about your brother, take your ass on a three-day excursion, a four-day excursion. Get your ass out there and get some yonder and break down. You feel what I'm saying? Or, you know what I'm saying? Get out there and we had one situation where a, a, a brother we was with, um, a brother we was with, his wife went into early labor, had to have a baby. We was out in the middle of nowhere. We got him to the airport, paid for his ticket to get home, and got his bike shipped. All of that. This, that, you know what I'm saying? That's what brotherhood was. He would have never known what true brotherhood was if he had been out there stuck. And I'm telling you, in town, at the clubhouse, at the local bike nights, you're not finna get brotherhood. The only way you're going to get brotherhood, my brother, is riding your motorcycle. I'm just telling you how I feel. Hugh Middlebrook, what up? My man on there, I responded to your post too as well. Uh, with your old ass, 70 years old, uh, been around before the regulators. Anyway, uh, but anyway, that that's my definition of brotherhood. If you want brotherhood, get with some cats and ride your motorcycle. Get some yonder. You feel what I'm saying? You cannot have brotherhood locally. Right? You can't do it. You feel what I'm saying? That's just how I feel. Anybody else disagree, then you can disagree. But I promise you this. Get out there and ride your motorcycle. Go side by Ride side by side with them. Ride tandem with them. Ride staggered, ride whatever you do, but get get around the 800, 900 mile mark, and it's in the middle of the night, and y'all got to look at each other and depend on each other headlights, 
Because it's all type of shit running across the road in the middle of the night. You feel what I'm saying? It's all type of shit running across the road. And you need, you, you got to have both bikes in each lane to light up both with high beams on. Because you got to be able to see shit that's not on the road, that's coming to the road. Yeah. That's brotherhood. When I got to depend on you to do what you're supposed to do, you got to depend on me to do what I'm supposed to do so that we can get to wherever the fuck we're going. I'm telling you some real shit, man. I'm, 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 I'm telling you some real shit. One thing I can say, listening to y'all, I learned a lot, seriously, and I, and I appreciate that. Brotherhood is made on the road, however, for those that truly understand and embrace it. Okay? Uh, hold on, y'all coming in. I truly understand it and embrace it. Keep teaching family. We'll do it. Thank you, Rock. Exactly, my brother. Whether it's at the clubhouse, on the road, or it's at the house, get to know your brothers. I agree. Okay, you, you got to. Okay. I only did the Yonder once to AZ with you and Jay Mills, and I must say you do learn a lot about your brother when you're out there. Best thing ever. Appreciate you, Don. I hope we can do many more trips. You feel what I'm saying? Because um, anybody that ride with me know I'm serious about that road. If you ask Don King, you what? I don't play about the formation. I don't play about any of that. But I'm telling you, if you really want to, brotherhood is when you have to depend on somebody else that you know nothing about. Because you don't know these cats. You know, we we so quick to holler brotherhood and sisterhood. Hell, you don't even like your brothers that was that was born out of the same womb you was born on, out of. So how are you going to like some other cats that you don't even know nothing about? You feel what I'm saying? How? How are you going to like another person just because you were told you got to like him because he got on the same patch? We're going to call ourselves brothers. Okay? No. You can you, you find that bond, homie. You you find what it is that keeps you in common. You find what it is that you love, long to love, but you definitely have to have an instance where you depended on him and he came through for you. Period. Period. You have, ask Don. Ask, 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 ask Don King Gadget Wiley about... That night, him and Jay Mills damn near went off the road because they didn't want to listen to their brother. <laughs> ask them, niggas. Ask them about that. Ask them about, okay, no, sorry, Cell, we sorry. You can take the lead again. We sorry. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? We learn. You learn together, man. I'm telling you. But I want y'all to keep this one, keep it in mind. However you MC, MC. However you, however you uh, motorcycle or bike life or whatever you want to call it, do it. Do it your way. Because when you leave here, that's all we're going to talk about is the way you did it. However you do it, do it. Because when you leave, that's all we're going to talk about is the way you did it. That's all we got. You feel me? So, to my man Michael Corleone, I salute you. I love you. Trust me, I do. Um, we got an understanding between there's a difference between a biker and being an MC. Um, there's totally two different things. I don't think nobody can really teach on what a biker is or being a biker, but we can teach on about being an MC and what the MC lifestyle is because it has rules. I don't think being a biker has rules. I don't think it has limits. I think it's, it's wide open, but being an MC, they have rules and regulations that was put down. And my job for FHO radio and being a part of teach MC is to teach just that. Um, it's, to, it's, to, it's to at least get us to talking about it. I'm not the Messiah. I'm not the Jesus of the bike set or none of that. But if I'm the person that God uses to initiate the conversation, then so be it. I think it is a different level to it being new to the coming to the street bikes to Harleys. The travel is different and the, band, the bond is greater. Appreciate you, T-Rob. Well, if any of y'all hit the slab with me, I don't ride less than 95. Fuck your gas mileage. I grab and bag and I take my time at the gas station. See what I'm talking about? That's Corleone. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to say this, Mr. Corleone. You ain't been yonder yet either. Not on two. You've been on a trike. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You've you, you been on a trike. You ain't been yonder yet on no, on no two wheels. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, so step your two-wheel game up. You feel what I'm saying? And and I'm not saying that riding that trike yonder was easy either, either because everybody think a trike is easier to ride than it is two wheels. It's not. You feel what I'm saying? It's not. But it is what it is. So, uh, uh, oh shit, here we go. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. You feel what I'm saying? Mr. Michael Corleone has not been yonder on two wheels. Uh, did you go to Dallas? You might have went to Dallas. Dallas might be 900 miles. You're down. <laughs> well, there it is there, man. <laughs> so he did go last year. Huh? 
No, you turn the light off, man. So he he did go. He, uh, my bad. I take that back. I, I, last year, I, I just couldn't remember. I guess because, you know, you know, you you you're very private and don't really be on Facebook like that a lot to be putting your business out, out there. Boys, stop. Anyway, that's my time, man. I just want to share that with you, Ponto. What up with it, my man, Ponto Racer, uh, Houston, Texas, rare breed president. You see how I know people. You know what I'm saying. Nah, Savannah the Long Beach Conrad. <laughs> oh, there it is there. Savannah the Long Beach. There it is there, man. So anyway, it is what it is, man. But uh, again, for those who, you know, commented or called, and for those who uh, uh, Michael Corleone made you feel good about not having to ride your motorcycle, three wheels is a bike, right? Yes, it is a bike. Yeah, three wheels is a bike. Uh, dirt bikes are bikes. Uh, swins are bikes. Uh, all kind of stuff for bikes. They got all kind of bikes, Mr. Hugh Middlebrooks. You feel what I'm saying? And however you choose to ride it, you ride it. You feel what I'm saying? But the gift and the curse with the three wheels is this. On a three wheel, okay, after seven, 800 miles, you can pull up somewhere and ain't got to worry about putting your feet down. You get your ass dizzy and leery after seven, 800 miles on a two wheel and forget to put your feet down and watch what happened. Oops. My bad. Yeah, that's the difference. You feel what I'm saying? Forget to put your feet down on the two wheel and, and see and ask yourself, is it a bike? Forget to put yourself down, feet down on a three wheel. <laughs> ask yourself, is, oh, as you say, bike mean buy two wheel. <laughs> what about my 10 speed? It's a bike. Ron, that's a bike, babe. You feel what I'm saying? That is a bike, Ron. You feel what I'm saying? And then on your 10 speed, Ron, if you forget to put your feet down, when you stop, you will understand that that's a bike. You feel what I'm saying? You will totally understand that that is a bike, bike. You feel what I'm saying? So there it is there, man. I love y'all. Um, it is what it is. And again, man, don't forget to tune in every Thursday from 9.30 to 11 p.m. Eastern to FHO Radio with me, your host, my co-host, my man, my right-hand partner, uh, my man, Head 100. You feel what I'm saying? So that's uh, in L.A., that's 6.30 to 8. In Houston, that's 8.30 to 10. You feel what I'm saying? Dallas, the whole nine yards. Try it hard. You can take your hands off the bar bars. Ever. And I got you. And that's what I'm saying. It's, it's a gift and a curse. I might not can take my hands off the bars, but I ain't never got to put my damn feet down and stay up neither. Stay up, Kane. So don't forget, man, Teach MC Radio, 106LiveRadio.com. Download the app uh, on any kind of device you got. It's 106 Live Radio. It's a black background with red writing. Um, if you're on a computer, it's 106LiveRadio.com. Every Thursday night, it's going down. Uh, the radio station has a lot of good shows. It's one coming on today. We have a brand new show that's airing today from, I think, 11 to 1. So if you get a chance, check it out. I'm about to go and get the 52 pumps in. Hey, I ain't mad at you, champ. Anything over 50, use a champ in the bedroom, man. 52 pumps. Now, y'all heard my man Kobe say 52 pumps, man. You feel what I'm saying? But uh, anyway, love y'all. Love, peace, and hair grease, man. Denise, I see you on there, baby. I hope you're getting better. Um, uh, I know you've been going through it with your wrist or whatever, or whatever. But I hope you're getting better, man. I know you miss being back on that road. It's your man, Big Still, FHOH, and I see 106 Live Radio.com every Thursday. Fast Hard is on the radio. <laughs>